Hello students, now we will discuss about nervous system in cockroach. Nervous system in cockroach has three important parts that is central nervous system, peripheral nervous system and autonomous nervous system. There are three parts. First one, central nervous system, I am writing as CNS. Second one, peripheral nervous system as PNS. Third one, autonomous nervous system as ANS. Let's will write the full forms of this. Central nervous system. Second one, peripheral nervous system. This one, autonomous nervous system. First, we will start with central nervous system. This central nervous system has, again, two important, two to three important parts. Those are, one is nerve ring. Second one, Ganglionated double ventral nerve cord. Coming to first one, nerve ring. This one. This nerve ring is again divided into few other parts. One is this one, supraesophageal ganglion, which is also called as cerebral ganglion or which is also called as brain. So, first one, supraesophageal ganglion which is also called as brain or cerebral ganglion second one subesophageal ganglion second one subesophageal ganglion Next, third one, the one which is connecting the ring-like structures or the connectives that are connecting supraesophageal ganglion and subesophageal ganglion. That is called as circumesophageal connectives. Here I have written a ganglion, actually it is connectives. Circumesophageal connectives. First one, supraesophageal ganglion. This one is present above esophagus. Location is above esophagus. Next, it has three important lobes that are receiving information or sensory, uh, sensory uh, nerves from eyes, antenna and labrum, that is upper lip. It has three lobes that receive information from eyes. In case of cockroach, eyes are compound eyes. Eyes are having simple structures and each eye is termed as omatidium or Omatidium, second one, antenna, third one, labrum, which is also called as upper lip. Now, 
सेकेंड वन सब इसोफेजियल गैंगलियोन सब इसोफेजियल गैंगलियोन इज प्रेजेंट बिलो इसोफेगस इट मीन्स दैट इसोफेगस माइट हैव बीन अरेज फ्रॉम हिट विच इज एक्सटेंडिंग एज प्रॉप लेटर इट विल बी हैविंग कनेक्शन विथ गिजर्ड दिस विल बी क्रॉप दिस विल बी इसोफेगस सब इसोफेजियल गैंगलियोन गैंगलियोन इज लोकेटेड बिलो इसोफेगस हियर आई हैव रिटन अबो इसोफेगस सुप्रा एंड बिलो इसोफेगस इज सब इसोफेजियल गैंगलियोन नेक्स्ट हियर ब्रेन इज और सुप्रा इसोफेजियल गैंगलियोन इज सेट टू बी सेंसरी इन फंक्शन यू कैन आल्सो राइट इट इज सेंसरी center but sub esophageal ganglion is a motor center motor center next it gives information to maxilla mandibles and the labium or lower lip mandibles next one maxilla and labium labrum is upper lip labium is lower lip next <coughs> to all these three segments sub esophageal ganglion passes information next about circum esophageal ganglion circum esophageal ganglion it connects the labrum which is upper lip to sub esophageal ganglion its location is is around esophagus we can see esophagus it connects labrum to sub esophageal ganglion next is ganglionated double ventral nerve cord this double ventral nerve cord arises from sub esophageal ganglion this double ventral nerve cord means it is starting from here up to seventh abdominal segment we have to say here one important point that double ventral nerve cord is separated starting from sub esophageal ganglion up to here except at the ganglionated regions means here it is connected we have to joint all this all are separate except at ganglions here we can see this one this one is not in contact with each other but there is connection between the ganglions so double ventral nerve cord is running up to seventh segment distribution of this abdominal ganglia and thoracic ganglia in each and every segment will be like so these are distributed in thorax and the abdomen in case of thorax first one we'll take about thorax in first thoracic segment one pair is present in second thorax region second pair of 
thoracic ganglion are present. This one, second pair. This is first pair. This is second thoracic pair. And this is third thoracic pair. Third thoracic segment. Third ganglion is present. Third thoracic ganglion is present. Coming to abdominal region, starting from first abdominal segment. First abdominal segment has first abdominal ganglion. In the same way, this is one. Second abdominal segment has Second abdominal ganglion. Next, third abdominal segment has abdominal. I am writing as A B D. Please try to understand. Segment I am representing as 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 I don't have place here has third abdominal ganglion. Next, in the same way. Fourth abdominal segment has fourth abdominal ganglion. Now, what about the fifth abdominal segment? Fifth abdominal segment is not having any ganglion. Fifth abdominal segment has no ganglion. Then what about fifth abdominal ganglion that is pushed towards the sixth abdominal segment? Fifth abdominal ganglion located in Sixth abdominal segment. So coming here, I have written all these are abdominal segments. So first segment, first ganglion. Second segment, second ganglion. Third segment, third ganglion. Fourth abdominal segment, fourth ganglion. But fifth I have written here as it is empty. Fifth abdominal segment is not having any ganglion. Sixth abdominal segment is having fifth ganglion. Fifth ganglion. No. Sixth ganglion is pushed into seventh segment. Sixth abdominal ganglion is pushed into seventh abdominal segment. Now, in 7th abdominal segment, 7th ganglion, 8th ganglion, 9th ganglion, 10th ganglion, along with the 6th abdominal ganglion, all are gathered here. Means all are fused here to form the largest ganglion. So, we can see. Out of all ganglion, the 7th abdominal segment is having the largest ganglion, which is formed by fusion of all these up to the 10th segment, 10th ganglion. So, I have written here, it is the Largest ganglion. So you will write some points here. Here, 6th, 7th, 8th, 9th, 10th ganglions are fused in 7th abdominal segment. And form largest ganglion. Largest ganglion. So, these are some points related to central nervous system up to here. Next, coming to peripheral nervous system. Peripheral nervous system has nerves received from CNS. Means 
they are arised from central nervous system so peripheral nervous system i am writing as pns this one receives a pair of nerves from different parts of the head we will write q first one is optic from optic region those are called as optic nerves second one antenna from antenna those are called as antennary nerves third one from upper lip that is from labrum labrum nerves this is in case of head region then what about the thorax region so in thorax nerves of p n s are distributed as from mesothorax nerves are passed to metathorax from metathorax nerves are passed to first abdominal segment again from first abdominal segment from first abdominal ganglion will write from first abdominal ganglion nerves passed to second abdominal segment again from second abdominal ganglion nerves passed to third abdominal segment again from third abdominal ganglion nerves passed to nerves passed to fourth abdominal segment again from fourth abdominal ganglion nerves passed to fifth abdominal segment now from this one is different <coughs> now fifth abdominal segment is not having any ganglion fifth abdominal ganglion is present in sixth abdominal segment from ganglion in sixth abdominal segment nerves passed to sixth abdominal segment see because fifth abdominal segment is not having any ganglion you will write here no ganglion in fifth abdominal segment next from ganglion in seventh abdominal segment nerves passed to seventh eighth ninth tenth abdominal segments 
So this is distribution of nerves regarding to peripheral nervous system into different body parts of cockroach. Autonomous nervous system also called as stomatogastric nervous system or visceral nervous system. Autonomous nervous system has this one includes four ganglion. What are those four? First one, frontal ganglion. Second one, hypocerebral ganglion. Third one, visceral ganglion. Fourth one, proventricular ganglion. Now, what is location of all these types of ganglions? Frontal ganglion is located at dorsal wall of dorsal wall of pharynx. We can also say this area is nothing but in front of brain. Or in front of brain. Now, hypocerebral ganglion, what is its location? It is located above esophagus. Hypocerebral ganglion also called as occipital ganglion. Next, third one, visceral ganglion. So we have written here, here we have written in front of brain. We can also write behind the brain or behind brain. Third one, visceral ganglion, which is also called as ingluvial ganglion. Also called ingluvial, one word this is, ganglion. What is its location? It is located around the crop. So, here will be its location like this. So this will be ingluvial ganglion. Next one, proventricular ganglion. This is located around gizzard. On gizzard. So we know that this area is a gizzard. So here it will be present. This is connected to gizzard. So this will be ingluvial. We know that gizzard is also called as proventriculus. Ventriculus means mid gut or mid uh, uh, middle uh, type of elementary canal. So mesenteron or mid, mid gut that we use uh, the term for middle part of the elementary canal. So that is called as pro, uh, ventriculus. So gizzard is called as proventriculus. So the ganglion that is present around or on gizzard is called as proventricular ganglion. So these are important points related to autonomous nervous system.